Right, Nigel, we've had a few days out with you this summer. Yeah. Um, we've come out to see you today. You're doing a spot of spraying. Just start us off. What are you farming? Where are you farming? <laughs> okay, so we're predominantly farming in the West Midlands. Um, we're responsible for, responsible for about 2,000 acres, uh, which is a mixture of uh, mainly rented ground and a bit of contract farming. Um, I'm the fourth generation farming here at the Mere Farm and my son David, who's been at home for the last five years, is the fifth generation. My great granddad came here at the uh, start of the century. Machinery wise here, Nigel, you're running all Massey Ferguson tractors. Yep. Has that been the way for a while now? Or? Yeah, yeah, we try and keep it simple uh, with the potatoes, uh, different operators and that. They're all, you know, similar operating systems. We know what they are. We've been pleased with them. Uh, quite simple to operate. We Everyone can know ways around them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You recently tried the Massey 8S as well last week. Yeah. We saw that in action. What do you think of that? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's early days. Um, we're just looking at the moment where we go forward with our tractor policy. There's a lot going on with the mach well, everything at the moment with farming and the, sh the machinery world. Uh, yeah, it was. It, we haven't done a lot with it yet, to be fair, Tom. Going to have a bit more of a go with this. It's been on trailers. We did try one earlier in the spring, and yeah, early days. Promising. We want to want to try the Vario gearbox. Um, yeah, we we'll go from there. Well, we had a day out of you when you had the combine running. Yep. The big case. Yeah. 9250. Yeah. What a machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of it? It's good. My case. <laughs> um, well, we were in a massive combine, which we're pleased with. We wanted to go to the uh, CTF, 12 meter control trafficking. And at the time, Massey didn't do the header, and case did. Um, you say it's a big combine. It's actually quite a nice combine. It's quite a compact combine on the yeah. tracks. It's very handy for getting around the lanes around here. Obviously, it's got a, a, a reasonable size header on, but it's very movable into the fields. Once yeah. you get in the field, it's um, yeah, very pleased with it. Very pleased with it. I bet you can cover a few acres a day with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. We because our main business is potatoes. We're actually we like having the um, a decent output. It'll probably get up to um, ten acres an hour comfortably. Depends on how we back it up. But we, we pretend to be potato in the, in the morning and then we can come in later in the day and, and take some acres off quickly. We haven't got the best drying facilities here, so we try and take it off dry. So. And how has harvest been for you this year? It's been, it's, uh, yeah, the, the actual <laughs> cereal side's been fairly straightforward. Um, obviously it's been dry. We had moistures that we've never seen before, uh, you know, uh, on the wheat. So that was good, you know, less dry, drying, you know, one or two moments where we've had to take rape off like late at night and early in the morning because the moisture is getting too dry. But we still, we still got two thirds of our potato harvest to do. I was going to say so it's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, and we suppose of, that's made it easier for you. With yeah, the it's took some pressure over. off. Yeah, and it's great because it, it actually it clears the fields so that we can do some you know cultivations and that to um, you know, try and get to. Although it's been, it has been very dry. We've had yeah. literally uh, well less than one inch of rain in June. And let, well, sorry, in July and less than one inch in August, which has put a lot of pressure on the on the potatoes on the irrigated. So going into the potatoes, yep. you've took on a new way of doing it, Nigel. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have, well, we, we've sort of, what we've done this year is, it's actually the final uh, bit in the jigsaw. So we've been yep. looking at it for quite a few years. Uh, yeah, we haven't ploughed for, I don't know, we don't own a plough at the moment, rightly or wrongly. <laughs> um, we haven't ploughed for potatoes for 20 years. Uh, we've always had the opportunity to use cover crops on the farm in front of sugar beet and potatoes um, and then so what we've done we've tried different machines uh, where we've limited the cultivations we've, we've obviously what we've wanted to do is get away from destoning ideally because um, yeah. of the from the structure point of view it's worked very well we're not trying to change the you know reinvent no. the wheel with it it's uh, it'll, we're, we're trying to make it work um, Obviously, um, we committed to it this time, so we're going all in one with the plants here, straight into the cover crops. It's so that's, working that's very no well. De staining at all. It yeah, goes, absolutely. Yeah, in. which you know the big the driver for it, soil structure, but also um, you know the labour pressures on the farm at the moment. It does give us flexibility in planting capacity, which is really good. So from a planting point of view, we're very pleased. Yeah, and what harvest do you run in the AVR? The, yeah, yeah uh, two bed, four row AVR, which is we're really happy with because that again, again we're meaning we're not having to run the trailers upside the harvester. We can unload on there on the ends. So, yeah. so we're a two um, two bed system now with the planter and the harvester. Wow! Oh. And you've just recently tried a demo machine as well. 
AVR. Yeah. Uh, I think Harry liked it. Yeah, he would do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he could pay for it as well. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Um, it's like any yeah. machine. You, I don't. I'm not a big fan of having too many demonstrations because obviously. Um, yeah, it's, it leads to. Yeah, <laughs> it leads but it, to, no, it is an improvement on our machine. I mean, I think yeah. ours is seven years old. We bought it last year, second hand. Uh, you know, it's for the future. It's there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's a long way go to go with the potato job at the moment. There's yeah. quite a bit of pressures with cost pressures and um, yes. And the other impressive bit of kit that you're running on the potato side of things is the grader. That is a fair thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's new yeah. to you because of the new method that you're trying with the potatoes. Yeah. So obviously for the potatoes uh, for the uh, planting system to work with uh, we are bringing obviously stones back into the uh, into the into the yard now for the grading and we couldn't do we couldn't do the we couldn't do the planting system totally on the whole area because we've got some light sand with a bit of stone without the grader um, we've been talking to we've been looking for the last couple of years about how we can do it with optical sorters and, and Dane Downs came on the radar 12 over 12 months ago where they were looking to bring um, integrate their crop vision into a grader. Uh, they've been using them on the continent for two or three years now and they wanted to bring it into the, into the UK. Um, they knew what we were trying to do with the planting and they knew we could put it to the test. And um, So yeah, it's, um, we've been trialling this season um, with them. They've been very helpful. Uh, we've had somebody on farm for three or four weeks and uh, yeah, it's very happy with it. Yeah, it's it, the, well. the dry conditions of harvest this time has meant we've probably pushed it even more because we've been bringing a bit more clod and soil in. Um, but yeah, generally happy. Brilliant. Well, thanks for having us out for a few days anyway, Nigel. No problem. We'll let you get back on with your spraying now. Yeah. Because you're a busy man. Yeah. No, no, you're right. No, I'm going to go back to bed now. <laughs> no, no problem. And uh, we'll hopefully catch up with you again soon. No worries, Tom. Cheers. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm it's gonna be alright, gonna be alright.